Joining us tonight, February is Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. And according to a 2011 study from the CDC, 23% of women and 14% of men who've ever experienced rape, physical violence, or stalking by an intimate partner first experience some form of partner violence between the ages of 11 and 17. Joining me live now to talk about this topic is Heather Severson. She is the co-founder of Treza. You've done so much domestic violence work in our community. Start off by telling us a little bit about, you know, Treja, that organization and things like that. Yes, Treja is a statewide organization that really focuses on raising awareness in communities, mm -hmm. um, educating and going into schools, educating teens on dating violence, um, just really wherever we can get the word out on how much of an epidemic this is and, and it's really affecting everyone. What is teen dating violence? I mean, you always think of dating violence as like hitting and things like that, but that is not, that is not it. That is not it. It's a form of control. Mm -hmm. It's a form of manipulation. It's a form of um, really in, you know, intimidation, mm -hmm. um, controlling your friends, who you can talk to, where you can go, um, really just taking your own personal um, and taking it away from you, making yeah. you someone else that you, you're not. And it's easier as teens. Absolutely, because you, you're, you're evolving as your own Absolutely. person. So it's easy to maybe be manipulated, is right. what it seems like. Well, in a teens, you know, everything is so new and yeah. so fresh. You don't know what you're supposed to no, do. No, and you want, you know, not only do you want your friends to like you, but you want your boyfriend to like you or mm -hmm. your girlfriend to mm -hmm. like you. And so you really try to do uh, pleasing, mm -hmm. um, and it turns into to be something more serious. What can we do as parents, as teachers, as just people in this community? How do we recognize teen dating violence? What are some of the things we should be looking for? Um, some of the biggest signs is if your teen is, you know, not, not involved in the same mm -hmm. friends mm -hmm. as they used to have, involved in the same sports, um, they're coming home and they're withdrawn, they're more nervous um, not answering their cell phone or not texting. Yep. That's a huge thing. Um, I know with my kids alone, I don't allow their text phone, their texting on their phones in their bedrooms. Yes. There's no place for them in their bedrooms. Um, and if your teen reacts horrifically mm -hmm. to that because they feel like they have to answer a text sure. message, that's a sign that something might be going on. Okay. Um, they don't have the same friends. They're not doing the same activities. They're mm -hmm. only relying on their boyfriend or girlfriend. That's a sign as well. What happens if we don't catch teen dating violence in its early stages? Um, it can continue on into adulthood. Mm -hmm. You know, they can become accustomed to this is how a relationship is. Mm -hmm. And there's a difference between manipulation, control, and love. Absolutely. So that there's a fine line. And demonstrating what a healthy relationship looks like at home is very important. Okay. As teens that are out there, are, what resources are available? Because as a teen, you know, you're always scared to talk to somebody to open up. What advice do you have for those teens who might be watching? Absolutely. Teens, there is so much about there. You know, they are smarter with the internet mm -hmm. and computer and technology yeah. than we are. There's plenty of teen dating apps on their phone oh, where okay. they can download apps and ask questions. And it gives them a survey and it tells them, you know, that they are in an abusive relationship or it's healthy mm -hmm. or it's borderline. Um, they can contact any of our services here mm -hmm. in Green Bay, the Golden House, yep. in Appleton, Harbor House, yep. in Oshkosh, Christine Ann Center, and they can ask questions to them. Um, there's a national hotline. All of it is, you know, you don't have to give your name. Yeah, anonymous so. and get Absolutely. the help that you need immediately. Absolutely. Because it can, just like with adults, mm -hmm. it can turn to homicide. Absolutely. So you have to be super careful. Thanks Absolutely. so much for being with us, Heather. Thank you. For more information about teen dating violence and all the resources out there, and if you or someone you know needs help, visit our website and click on the Wisconsin Tonight tab. Well, the country's leading pediatricians are warning about increasing risk to kids and 